Our first thread is titled, Am I Wrong for Being Angry? OP says, mother-in-law came to visit with uh, our baby and asked if she could take her for a walk. I've never let anybody take her anywhere without me present, but I've been trying to get more comfortable with it. So I agreed to let her. She said she'd just take her to the mailbox and back, which isn't more than 20 feet from our house. Well, 10 minutes had passed and they still went back. So I looked outside and didn't see them anywhere. I immediately panicked thinking something had happened after 20 minutes of them not returning. I was calling her, but she left her phone in the house. She finally gets back with her nearly half an hour later and is asking like it's not a big deal. It's acting like it's not a big deal. If she had told me they would be walking far, I'd understand. But she literally assured me they were just going up the street. For it being my first time allowing someone to take my child, of course, I was anxious. And even more so when they weren't where she said they would be. Am I wrong for being angry at mother-in-law for this? Now, I think this is completely over the top. I think this is way overblown as a reaction and it doesn't have to be this way. I do think OP is wrong for being angry. There's just a huge difference to me from taking a child out for an hour versus taking a child out for 20, 25 minutes. I don't think that the difference between 20, 25 minutes and the amount that she expected them to be out, which is like five, 10 minutes, I guess, is such a huge difference. The, <laughs> I mean, you can spend 10 minutes just talking to your neighbor if you come across a neighbor, or maybe, you know, there's a dog walking by and your child just wants to hang out and watch the dog. I know that we don't really know exactly how old uh, the, the child is in this situation, but it just seems like such a reasonable amount of time to be outside that I cannot imagine freaking out to this extent. Now, it's also not the case that she's left her with someone who she doesn't know, who she doesn't trust, who hasn't spent time with the kid before. Like it's her mother and it's a member of the family. So reacting this extremely and having this level of anxiety with it is just not healthy. And I think OP makes that very clear when she says, hey, I have never let anybody take her anywhere without me present. And then she also says, this being my first time, I was I was already anxious. So it seems to me like OP already started at a pretty high level of anxiety. And then five minutes later, her anxiety level was all the way up here, which is completely unnecessary and way over the top. And uh, just, I, I don't know, I don't know why you would do this to yourself. And I don't know why you would treat your child or your mother-in-law like this. When she says, hey, after 10 minutes, she looked outside and she didn't see them anywhere. And then she immediately panicked thinking the worst had happened. I kind of would maybe understand this a little bit if she lived in the middle of a city, if there were, you know, giant cars in front of the house driving super fast all the time. If there was any reason to say, hey, if my child is out for even five minutes longer than uh, than I would expect her to be, then there's likely to be a problem and I need to go find out what's going on. I also think the point of, hey, the mother-in-law left her phone behind and that being then the big problem because you can't get in touch with her. Well, if the mother-in-law was expecting to be out for a few minutes, then it also makes sense to me that she wouldn't necessarily have her phone with her. So as far as I can tell, this is way over the top as a reaction. I would kind of get it if uh, if the kid was out for an hour and you didn't expect them to be out for an hour. That's pretty much the only circumstance in which this type of response would make sense to me. That said, I'm pretty much the only person that feels this way. You can see some of the comments. The first person says, you are not wrong for feeling that way. That would be the last time she did anything with the baby. She lied to you and took your baby. I would be angry too. And the thing about this response that really stands out to me is that there's this kind of attitude towards it as if the mother-in-law kidnapped the child, you know, because she took her out for a 20 minute walk, which is just, I, I don't even know why you would frame it in that way at all. Uh, also the, the the point where she says, hey, this would be the last time she did anything with the baby. I don't Such an extreme reaction. She didn't do anything to hurt her. She didn't harm her in any way. She didn't overstep a major boundary that really like changed how she interacts with your child in a way is super unhealthy and harmful for her. She did not, she just, she took her outside. She made her spend some time outside. That's all she did. Next person says, absolutely not. She lied and didn't take her phone. I would be furious. I kind of get the point a little bit of it being a lie in terms of, okay, she said, hey, we're just going to the mailbox and coming back. But also if spontaneously she's like, hey, the kid is uh, having fun and she seems to, you know, maybe she needs to breathe some fresh air. She spends a little bit too long outside. So she's like, okay, we'll take a quick loop around the block. 
then that's completely reasonable. Like she she didn't do anything that was totally out there. Um, this person asked a bunch of questions about what the baby was doing and where they went. And OP replies uh, with this description, which I thought was actually quite hilarious. She says, uh, her baby does very well on short walks, but not longer than 15 minutes. When they got back, she was covered in sweat and her poor little cheeks were so flushed. It's extremely hot where we live. So had I known it would be a long walk, I would have had mother-in-law bring water and sunscreen. So OP here, I'm assuming she exaggerates a little bit when she says almost half an hour later. I'm pretty sure that means like 20, 25 minutes later, they came back. And so the difference between 15 minutes and 20, 25 minutes is not that long. You can argue it's long for a child. Okay, fair enough. But the idea that she was covered in sweat and a little bit, she had like slushed cheeks. She did a tiny little bit of exercise for her tiny little body. That that was all that happened. And she also says it's extremely hot. You know what? People survive without, like people have survived without sunscreen for a very, very long time. It's not that you spend five minutes out in the sun and then suddenly your skin is like totally burnt and you get cancer. That's not, that's not how this works. That she was out for 25 minutes is not harmful for the child. She, she, she will recover. Okay. She's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. You don't need to freak out to this point. And then the next comment says, I'd be upset too. You have every right to be upset when someone doesn't do what they say regarding your child. I would have gone looking for them. And OP replies, I was cooking dinner, so I couldn't leave the stove, but my husband did go out looking. She took her all the way around. So by the time he got around the neighborhood, she was back. <laughs> I can just imagine the husband actually being pretty chill and calm and relaxed about the whole thing going, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go look for them while his wife is going a bit insane in front of the dishes. Uh, and then just it not panning out like a little loop around the block is I'm, I'm sorry. It's just it's it's not not that dangerous. I would hope I would hope you don't live somewhere that's so dangerous that you're like, OK, my child is outside for five minutes and she's going to die. That's probably not good. Next person says, I absolutely hate not knowing where my child is. My in-laws pulled that crap once and have never babysat since. As mom, I need to know where my child is, which is fair enough as a general statement. Uh, yes, you do need to know where your child is, but this is the type of event and the type of circumstance and the amount of time that is just the, the, these are all the factors that make this type of reaction seem so completely extreme to me. Uh, if she took her out for an hour, if they went somewhere to the center of the city, if they went shopping together, if they went to an actual place where you couldn't find them and you still, you couldn't get in touch with her and they hadn't, you know, had a conversation with you about just going outside for a few minutes, then okay, fair enough. But those all need to be there. In this case, she was literally outside for 20 minutes, like 20 minutes, come on. And then OP replies, it's the worst feeling, especially for me as a new mom and having had such bad anxiety, I was already so anxious just to let her walk to the mailbox. Now, if the mailbox is literally 20 feet away from them, that's probably the kind of distance that I would be comfortable with my child walking by themselves, so long as I could see them from a window somewhere. That's literally so close that to, uh, for it for, to, be, to, to be anxious about it makes it clear that you are the person with the problem and it's really not the mother-in-law in this case. This is a perfect situation where parents, mothers especially, just go completely overboard and I'm assuming that this person is a first time mom because I, I think most people calm down a bit by the time they have a second or a third child. But um, but yeah, totally unnecessary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you freaked out so much, OP. I'm sorry that you seem to have such little trust in her grandmother, in your child's grandmother, uh, and assume that she would, I don't know, just not look after her for any reasonable period of time, even if it's just 20 minutes in general. I would probably say you should be grateful that your mother-in-law wanted to take your child outside because it's good for them to spend some time outside. And it's pretty great that she had, she, she had, you know, she had some exercise, that she got a little bit hot. She got to experience what that felt like. I would be grateful. 